conventional wisdom said that young people in the United States wouldn't vote, that every four years people talked about young people voting, but they wouldn't vote this time. Conventional wisdom said that the superdelegates, the party elected officials, would all be for Senator Clinton. Conventional wisdom said that if there are rumors about your candidate out there, you should ignore those rumors, pretend they don't exist. Above all, you should never talk about them because more people will hear the rumors. Conventional wisdom said you can't move your political convention outside of a hall and into a football stadium. And conventional wisdom, above all, said that obviously a black man couldn't win the uh, presidency in the United States in 2008. Step by step, person by person, we set out to organize the United States the way you would organize, as I say, a school board race. And I apologize, I don't know what the equivalent is here. But a very small race in a very big country, the same way, person by person, knocking on doors, telephoning in communities. And we had a large community at the end of this campaign. We had a community of 13 million people who had registered at some point on our internet sites. And then we had people in communities in some of the most old-fashioned campaign you're ever going to see. Um, in, you had uh, people knocking on doors. You had people organizing out of churches. You had people carpooling to go to states. You had people basically giving up their time every night and every weekend to go and talk about Barack Obama in any way they could. Now this campaign was based on the idea that when someone tells you you can't do something, you say, well, why not? And I know that that's an attitude, Mr. President, that you often have as well. <laughs> so that instead of saying, it, it, when people say, no, you can't, you say, well, yes, we can. When we all work together, yes, we can. We could not have done it, though, if we had been a campaign that was just about a candidate and a lot of money on television, and at the end of the day, hoping people would knock on doors. That if it hadn't been an organic campaign that invited people to participate, that was a conversation with people, it would not have been possible. And when, when Barack Obama would say, yes, we can, he wasn't saying, yes, I can, because he could not have done it by himself. And we could not have done this. When he was attacked, we were able to go out and communicate directly with people. And they knew that we put up a website called Fight the Smears to combat rumors. That was, you know, because we wanted people, if they heard a rumor, to know that they could come directly to us and we'd be straight with them. We um, told people the important announcements of our campaign before we told the press corps, whether it was the vice president, or the fact that we were going to pull out of the public financing, we told our supporters first because that relationship was so important.